Azimio leader Raila Odinga has put President William Ruto and Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa on notice after his convoy was tear gassed and repulsed with water cannons in Embakasi South. Welcome to Zafarani TV, a Kenyan online political platform where I talk about what happens in the Kenyan political scene and in politics worldwide. If this is your first time to be here, welcome on board. Take a few seconds hit the subscribe button and please don't forget to hit the notification button so that every time I upload a new content, you'll be notified. The convoy, which was accompanied by a mammoth of protesters, was viciously repulsed by police for any protesters to scamper for safe safety amid a hail of tear gas canisters. Raila condemned the incident, saying Kenya Kwanzaa's reign now stands on shaky ground. Residents of high-rise apartments in Pipeline poured water from their balconies in an effort to help the protesters below wash tear gas from their eyes. Nairobi Senator Mr. Edwin Sifuna thanked them for the gesture hours later in a tweet. And I quote, God bless the residents pouring water down from their high-rise flats to do us from the intense tear gas, he said. End quote. Following the incident, Raila was forced to take a detour on Eastern Bypass before joining Outer Ring Road with hundreds of his supporters in Tau. The, protest, the protesters lit bonfires on the road and engaged anti-riot police in running battles for the better part of Thursday afternoon. Moments before they were tear-gassed, as they e exited Quarin, Raila had told his supporters that not even a million police officers would stop their march into the central business district. The demonstrations were largely peaceful with little skirmishes and it was not immediately established what triggered police to lob tear gas to the protesters. In a statement, Interior Cabinet Secretary Mr. Kidure Kindikin warned that going forward, all attempts of people holding violent or distracting protests